to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, we just saw the recipe for success right there. Big body, strong, agile, playing with great leverage and hands. Not really able to be blocked on that play. Close things down inside. One back is Lacey. Wins to throw on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. On third and long, it's Wins. He's gonna wind up and air it out, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop, could really hurt their momentum. Here's Andy Lee now, standing just outside his own goal line. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And take it right on the 30. <laughs> a nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't right turn now. it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something positive to be gained from it. On second down, Freeman. And he is going to lose yardage here. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. And three full yards here for the offense to get on third down. Freeman again. And some space here. And he'll cut it to the right sideline. Devontae Freeman. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Carolina. Devontae Freeman, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down, doesn't matter how far they need for a first down, throwing the ball. Instead, they run it, and as you said, picked up the first down, and then some, and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything, all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drop. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just big, a big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On play action, Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 
And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. All right, here we go. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Carolina getting set to take the field. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Newton on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And now a first down following that long game. They'll run here with Freeman. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's getting in goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. They come up in an offset eye. Newton now. The blitz coming, and down he goes. So the roughing the passer penalty, 15 yards, and Charles, the defender, needs to know to stop there. We've been talking about it for years. You essentially get one step after the quarterback throws his pass. Anything close to that or beyond that, you're going to get flagged. They come out here in the eye. Here's, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And into the red zone now. And Charles, they told us offense in the red zone was a focus this week in practice. A huge priority, and the key was to get points. So you know that all the time during the week they talked about executing. And he can't. And they're going to get him out of bounds here. Shy of the line of scrimmage. So that one's going to go down as a sack. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. To throw on second down is Newton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go... And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Their big tight end. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers add on to their lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. 
That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They fake the give. Now wins. And it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl Luke Kinkley that picks it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Freeman, the lone man in the backfield. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. They come out here in the eye. Newton. This will be caught at about the five. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defenders are going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. On second down, Smallwood. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 15. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Carolina getting set to take the field. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push him back. 
Changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. The shotgun snap for Newton. 